So I was digging through some of my old stuff, and I found this. This is an iPod Touch 5, the base model. And let's see how well it holds up in 2020. What's up guys, I'm Aaron the Tech Guy, and this is the iPod Touch 5. So to start off with, I'll, I'll, ta I'll start to talk about the exterior design. This is still an incredibly thin and lightweight device, and it looks incredibly premium, even though it is around 8 to 10 years old-ish. It features an all-metal design with a 4-inch glass display on the front, which is retina display, so it, still, so it still does look beautiful, even by today's standards. However, it does have huge bezels and the screen's kind of tiny, so it is kind of annoying to use. Around the bottom, we have one single speaker, a lightning port, and a headphone jack, which is nice. I love the headphone jack. Headphone jacks are great. Around the back of this device, you'll, you'll see very clearly that there is no camera because this was the standard model with 16 gigabytes of storage and there was no camera on the back, which was really annoying when I tried to use it for a solid three years. The selfie camera is absolute trash and I would not recommend using it for anything other than like basic FaceTime and stuff because the dyna dynamic range is kind of terrible. All that being said, this device is incredibly thin and light, and if I put it in my pocket, I barely even notice it's there. It's just that small. Now you might be thinking to yourself by this point, that this might be a good device to use as a portable music player. However, there are two major downsides that make this impossible to use as any, a daily device for any sort of use whatsoever. First of all, it is slow. This is running on an, on an A5 processor, and it... It's, it struggles to run even the most basic programs such as iMessage. It lags on everything and it is the worst. Second of all, even if you were willing to live with that, there is no app support. The last software update this ever got was iOS 9.3.5, meaning that pretty much no apps that you'd ever consider using on this, such as Netflix, Spotify, anything like that, work at all. You can't, you can't even download them because this, this device is just so old. If you can find a device that has these apps already, they will, they will continue to work like our old iPad, which is also on the same version of iOS. Additionally, if you want to use your AirPods, you have to pair them like a normal Bluetooth device, meaning that you lose all the things that make AirPods cool, such as the automatic pause play when you take them out of your ears. So, because of these two downsides, it is impossible for me to recommend the iPod Touch 5 as any, any sort of device. This is a short video, a short conclusion, don't buy it for any price whatsoever, it's just not good at all. Congratulations, you've made it to, to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. As always, you're watching A.E. Ron, The Tech Guy.